Hey, Lyle here. Welcome back. Today we're looking at the Hogue Collector Series Out the Front Automatic Counter-Strike. Hey, welcome back to the table. This is Lyle Bucks Gearbox. Today, as I said, we're looking at the Hogue Collector Series Counter-Strike Automatic Out the Front in magna cut and carbon fiber and aluminum this thing is really cool i have opened it i've carried it i love it let's uh let's take a look and see what you get in the box so yeah this is not a true unboxing first off I'll show you the box this is part of a series of some of their knives they've released uh, in upgraded materials and i know they have a deca um they have i think maybe the blista uh, I can't remember for sure on that, but uh, this here is the Counter-Strike, and boy, oh boy, did they just knock it out of the park here. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, pseudo unboxing, show you what you get in here. You get the pretty nifty nylon carry pouch with some, you know, nice soft insides. I think I to already tossed the uh, plastic bag that, that came in. I'll talk about that in a minute, because that's really cool. Don't eat. Sticker. And let's see here, open this information and hold it up. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. In case you want to read that, you can pause it and take a look there. Nothing on the back. Cool, Hogue is doing some cool stuff. Uh, American company, guys, uh, we'll come back to this for sure, but I want you to know what that is. That is a delete option for the glass breaker. And I'm super pumped that they included that. All right, yeah, again, Hogue is uh, just kind of knocking it out of the park. So there's a little bit of a show and tell with what you get in the box. Uh, let's talk about specs. The whole knife is 8.35 inches long. Uh, the handle is five inches. The blade is 3.35. Uh, Double-edged blade, very, very lightweight at 2.8 ounces. I love how lightweight this thing is and easy to carry. Comes in CPM Magna Cut. I don't know if you can see. Yep, you can probably see that right there. Magna Cut. Okay, so yeah. Again, Hogue is doing some pretty cool stuff. Uh, carbon fiber cover on this side of the scales. Aluminum everywhere. Deep carry pocket clip. The aforementioned glass breaker, which is really pointy, and a lanyard hole. Anodized blue, uh, titanium hardware. This thing is really cool. Okay, let's do um, a little bit of size comparison. So, by the way, this is a limited series. Um, all the things in the collector series are, uh, I don't know, they've kind of said that once they've sold through them, they're not going to make any more. I have a feeling they're probably going to make some more. I don't know if they'll make some more that look exactly like this. I believe the Counter-Strike is a brand new model altogether. Uh, but just kind of keep that in mind. They're limited. They are still available as the timing of this video if you want one. Um, yeah, I'll leave some links in the description below so you can check them out. But let's do, uh, let's do some size comparisons. Let's get rid of that. So let's open her up. And before we get started with the actual knives that I have uh, with me to compare this to, this is almost exactly the same size as the Microtech Ultratech. I think there's like a one millimeter difference between these two. So it's very, very comparable to that. I don't have a full size Ultratech anymore. I prefer the 85 size and the single edge. So uh, yeah, I don't have that anymore to show you side by side, but this is the 85% um, of an Ultratech right here. And uh, I love this knife. I carry this one quite a bit. Very, very cool knife. Uh, let's talk about some other big knives. I consider the Ultratech size full size. It's a big knife to me. And the Counter-Strike is uh, no difference there. It's a big knife. Although it's much easier to carry than one of these big knives because the profile is so much slimmer. So. There's the pair of, uh, sorry, the PM2 and the Shaman. Uh, let's see what else I have out here on the table. Here is a Benchmade Tillian full size. 
for the full size knife. Here is a pair of three and Maximit. Much, well, not a much smaller knife, but a smaller knife for sure. Maybe a little more everyday carry a bowl size and length. But again, I think the slimness of the Ultratech style knife here, the Counter-Strike, uh, makes a big difference in everyday carry. Not hard to carry at all. And I know because I've tested it out. Here is another automatic that I really enjoy, uh, although it isn't out the side, the Protec TR5 and the Sapphire Blue. And just because I have it out on the table, here's an XM18. Big knife. They're about the same length, really, and I don't know if you should count the uh, the glass breaker or not, but uh, regardless, they're pretty close in size. So there you have it, some real-world size comparisons. Everybody loves the size comps. All right, let's talk about this knife because, wow, I'm really impressed with it. And look, I don't even really like the dagger shape. It's just not my thing normally. But when I saw this, and because I like Hogue, uh, and because it just looks so stinking beautiful, I had to get it. Definitely added it to the collection because I was kind of blown away by it. The action is powerful, very good. Let's let's talk about the pros. Uh, first off, yeah, the first pro is it is stunning. I think this is a beautiful piece of equipment. Look at that carbon fiber. The way that that kind of reflects, it's just so dang cool. The blue Anno hardware, titanium nonetheless, deep carry pocket clip. The uh, the aluminum and the milling on the aluminum just looks really, really sharp. Very, very classy looking uh, knife for sure. So the looks, stunning. Again, uh, pro number two would be the materials. Magna cut in and out the front is pretty rare these days. I think... Um, Heretic is doing that, but I don't know of anybody else that is yet, so that's really cool. Uh, Magna Cut is a do-it-all steel and very good at the things that it does. It's corrosion resistant, it's tough, uh, and it holds an edge very long. So very, very cool. And then the carbon fiber. This is like a major upgrade in most companies, and uh, we'll talk about price here in a little bit at the end. Let's talk ergonomics, okay? I know the camera probably doesn't do it justice, but... Let's show you the common Microtech angular boxy look, which is still comfortable. I still like this knife quite a bit. It is comfortable to carry, but uh, the way that this is kind of rounded off and knocked down and just slim, let's look at these side by side. They're close to the same, but I think the roundness um, on the Hogue just makes it a little bit more comfortable in the pocket to carry and it's lighter even though it's a bigger knife it's lighter than this i should uh i should get my scales out and weigh that all right we're back and uh i went to find my scales because i wanted to see how much these weighed and i chose fractions there which is annoying but uh two and three fourths and three ounces so not a whole lot lighter but it is a smaller knife uh this is a bigger knife and it weighs Quite a bit less. That is something, you know, if that's a, a priority for you. I don't usually mind a heavyweight knife. I'm just kind of impressed at how lightweight this guy is. Okay, moving on. A fantastic action. Just super powerful. Snaps right out. Uh, feels like a Microtech, Protech in the firing. It just, it's uh, super dependable and I like it. There's nothing wrong with it for sure. Nitpicks. There are a couple of things about this one that I don't care for. I actually like the Microtech button a little bit better. I hated this at first because it rubs your thumb raw. But if you can find a Microtech with really good action, I think that this jimping on here, the way that that's milled out, is probably a little bit safer and definitely a little bit easier to control, even if it is more uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable, that's why I don't like it. This one maybe needs a little more of an aggressive ramp, just, just to me, uh, this is gonna be really subjective. And I kind of feel like, and I have felt every once in a while, I have pushed this open and my thumb has carried on through. I've not cut myself but I could see it happening. Um, probably not ever really gonna be a thing. 
Also, pulling it back um, is a little bit harder than it is on a Microtech because of that, the way that their button kind of grabs you, okay? Just something to be aware of. Definitely not a deal breaker at all. Nitpicks, definitely. I'm not even calling this list cons. The other nitpick is the glass breaker, which I don't like on either knives. I don't really, I don't really care for glass breakers on a pocket knife. Now, there may be a time in my life when I need one and I wish I had one. And uh, I'll probably keep this one on. I find that the Microtech one is not, it's, I don't like the way it looks, but it's not in the way and it doesn't bother me. I can sit here and do this all day. This one is sharp, it's pointy, and it sticks out a little farther. And I find it annoying when I go to grab it. Sometimes I poke myself and it actually kind of, I mean, I'm not being a baby here. It doesn't hurt bad. It's not going to pierce the skin unless maybe I slam my, my hand down there um, in a dumb way or something. But it is uncomfortable and I don't like it. And I am absolutely overjoyed that they put a delete option. I mean, it's literally it's just a screw. But I'm going to take that off and put this on uh, probably in an upcoming video. I'm sure it's fairly easy to do. I don't know if there's threaded with Loctite or anything on there, but I can't uh, just break it off with my hands. So I have to get some, uh, get a wrench going and figure that out. All right. Look at that. Anyway, those are my nitpicks. I love this thing. All right. One more thing to talk about. Normally don't talk about cost on this table because, or on this, on this, on this channel because most of you who are watching my channel already know what all these things cost and it's very subjective. Um, knife collecting is expensive, right? It just is. Um, but this I have to talk about because I feel like if this combination of materials in an automatic knife was made by another USA company and any company, um, and I'm not bad mouthing anybody here, I'm just saying a USA made premium knife with premium materials, you're probably looking at 500 to a thousand dollars, depending on which kind of knife it is, uh, what company it comes with, whether it's an automatic or a folder, you just are. That seems to be the going thing these days are like $500 and up on premium collector's edition knives from most USA manufacturers. And this one is about $340. I just, it's still expensive. They're, to me, that's a, a lot of money for a knife. It's an expensive knife, but it could have been $200 more easily. It could have been three or $400 more easily because, you know, it's a collector's item. It's upgraded materials, magna cut, carbon fiber, fancy screws, all that stuff. USA made, well thought out, well designed, just a killer, awesome knife. And to me, that could have cost more and people probably would have spent more on it. I really do think that's true. So I'm really pleased that Hogue made this a very competitive price. Um, and I just, I'm really impressed by that. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, these again are available right now at different retailers. <clears throat> and I will provide some links below as well as a link to the Hogue web website. And uh, you have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.